Well, good evening, everyone. This is Michael Chitwood, and I'm coming to you live this evening, of course. I'm glad to uh, be with you. I hope that you've had an extraordinary, beautiful day today. Uh, I've had a great day today. I've been very, very busy, of course. And I have a couple of quick announcements to make, and I want <laughs> no suit today, okay? Uh, <clears throat> I have a couple of announcements to make, and then I want to get right into this 15-minute teaching only. Number one, we're getting ready to start our Entrepreneurship Academy, our Business and Finance Academy. Academy, and we want you to be a part of that. You'll get to join us in two ways. One, you'll be able to see us live at the theater. And those of you that are here in Chattanooga, you may attend this Entrepreneurship Academy, Business and Finance, free of charge. If those of you around the country that have not moved here yet, if you want to join this broadcast, then you'll have to pay a little bit of a fee just to cover the data cost. That's all. It's like maybe $39, but that's for the whole course. But you'll be live right there with us in the classroom where we're going to be teaching business finance. Many of you have not been taught business or finance. Your pastor certainly hasn't taught you because obviously he doesn't know anything about business. If he did, his church wouldn't be in debt. But I'm going to teach you about business because I am the authority when it comes to business and finance and entrepreneurship. So this evening, I'm just going to give you just a little bit of what we're going to be teaching in these incredible courses. I wish that all of you were here, but since you can't be here, of course, it'd be free of charge here. Uh, but since you can't be here, you'll have to pay a little fee. I think you'd tell me that, I think they're telling me it's going to be like $39.95 for the whole, for the whole uh, uh, semester. So that's going to be great. And we'll give you more details about that now. Debbie Booth is working on that now. Also, I want to apologize to you for not getting your notification on Facebook. I was under the impression that when you clicked the little button that it would notify you like five minutes before so that you would have your notification. So I guess that was just my misunderstanding. I do apologize for that. I promise that I will learn the rules and regulations before it's over with. The, the Entrepreneurship Academy, Finance and Business. I believe that each and every one of you should be in business for yourself. I believe that each and every one of you should be an entrepreneur. I believe that each and every one of you should have finances in your life, your hands, so that you can accomplish the things that you want to accomplish. I believe that the United States would be better off if we had more businesses, owners, and entrepreneurs than we do have people working for people. I want to list a few things for you, and I hope that you will... Please make sure that you get your name in. I can only take so many in the class online, and I can only get take so many live at the broadcast. So if you want to become a part of the Entrepreneurship Academy, Business and Finance, please get your name in to us. You'll need to call the number. There's no registration online yet. Uh, this has just been developing over the months. We've been working on it, and now we're just about to the point. So in the next two weeks, you're going to have notification of what you should do. If you want to invite somebody, you may do that right now. Make a few notes if you can. There are a few good reasons that people won't go into business for themselves, but there are many good reasons to become an entrepreneur. Somebody type entrepreneur on the screen now. Somebody type entrepreneur on the screen, E-N-T-R-E-P-R-E-N-E-U-R, -E 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 entrepreneur. It's important that you know that you can become an entrepreneur. It's important for you to know that you live in a place and time that not only are entrepreneurs celebrated, but they are recognized as the group that actually keeps America running. Did you know that? Did you know that here in America, you are actually the ones that keep America running, the small entrepreneurs, the small businesses and so forth? So we live in a place where that you're celebrated as an entrepreneur. Entrepreneurship is celebrated. It makes both possible rewarding and possible challenging. Even those of us who never actually believe that some can't make it actually do make it. I've actually had some that I thought would never make it. But those are the ones that fooled me. And the only reason I thought that they couldn't make it is not that I'd have confidence in them. It's because I actually felt like that they weren't putting their whole heart into it and they weren't driving it with their passion. You've got to drive that thing in. 
you got to drive it in there. And when you drive it in, I think you're going to find out that it's going to help you accomplish what you've been called to do. When you take the plunge, you need to understand that you're going to fantasize, and that's occasionally because there's a lot of work to do. You'll fantasize you creating, running your own business. You'll be your own CEO. Can somebody place that on the screen this evening? CEO. CEO. Whether you're after the creative potential inside of you or the feeling of autonomy or autonomous, uh, you have a chance to follow your passion. I don't know about you, but somebody I would appreciate it if you just simply type that word on the screen, passion. If you don't have passion for your dream, if you don't have passion to own a business, to be a business, you understand that you're never going to make it as a business. It, it won't work. So I want to give you a few things here. I firmly believe that anyone with the right dedication can become a successful entrepreneur. Now, this is a part of our opening remarks in the Entrepreneurship Academy. I pray that you won't overlook that because no one can teach entrepreneurship and finance and business like me. And one reason for that is you can't have, and I'm saying this respectfully, you can't have a broke person trying to teach you finances, just trying to get some money out of you. That's not what the purpose of this is all about. So I believe that you, with the right dedication, can become a successful entrepreneur. Do you believe that this evening, that you can become a successful entrepreneur? If you do, would you please just type, yes, that's me. I believe that you can become a successful entrepreneur, and I believe that you will know the things you can do and the things you can't do. However, there are some wrong reasons. There's some wrong reasons why that you should not become an entrepreneur. And if they constitute your motivations, you'll be more likely to be dissatisfied with your work, you'll burn out, and you'll actually fail. I'd like to give you a few of these if I could. If you're coming, becoming an entrepreneur, first, your first reason is to get rich. I want to tell you now that you're a long way from getting rich and you have to work hard to accomplish the things that you want to accomplish. Entrepreneurs do not become billionaires overnight for the most part. There has been some. Facebook guy and, and some of these guys have become billionaires just about overnight. There's a common misconception that entrepreneurship is a fast track to getting rich. Please understand this evening, ladies and gentlemen, that entrepreneurship is not a fast track to getting rich. It is a way and an avenue to getting rich. You will get rich if you understand the principles of entrepreneurship, the principles of business, and the principles of finance. There's many people, and those of you that heard the broadcast this afternoon, a very famous running back for a very famous football team called me. Uh, I told the story this afternoon. I hope that many of you, you heard that or you watched that on Periscope. But you understand that the point, the reason why he called me was simply because he makes $28 million a year but he's broke. He makes $28 million a year, but he's $50 million in debt. And I hope when I go down to Florida in a couple of weeks that I can get a live interview because he said, please tell the people. I asked him. He lives down the street from me. He lives down the street from me a little bit. I asked him, I said, I, I, uh, excuse me, I'm about to tell you his name. Uh, I asked him, I said, do you care if I share this? He said, no, tell everybody. He said, I've told my football team players, who's a very famous running back. This year he has a chance of breaking the all-time records. He said, Debt is a horrible thing. So he had no business experience. He didn't know. He, he was in ep when it came to business. As an owner of your business, you'll be entitled to at least a portion of your profits. You must return some of those to your business in order to create, create a proper cash flow. In this Business Entrepreneurship Academy, I'm going to be teaching you all about cash flow, business law. It's going to be a complete course where you'll get your certificate at the end of the first semester if you pass. It's important that you understand that there's no guarantee on businesses if you don't work it. If you think that you can run out the door and let somebody else run your business starting off, you're badly mistaken because you need to know all the things that they can do to steal from you. And that only comes by on-the-job training and on-the-job watching. I hope that you're listening to this it's certainly possible to make a very good living from that. As I typed this out and worked on this today, I decided 
that I wanted to tell you, first of all, that you must understand the principles of business, being motivated only by money, being motivated only by money will interfere with your ability to make long-term decisions for your business, and it will leave you feeling unsatisfied, stressed out, upset if you don't meet your targeted numbers. I hope that somebody's listening to me right now because you need to understand that this is the same way that you run a church. That's the reason why that churches are broke and they can't afford things is because they don't know how to run a church because a church is nothing but a what? Somebody type that on the screen right now. A church is nothing but a what? Church is nothing but a business, a business. Number two, if you're going to become an entrepreneur just so you can become famous, let me tell you now, it's true that becoming an entrepreneur has the potential to increase your personal visibility, especially if your marketing strategy relies on media exposure and you're trying to brand yourself. Look at entrepreneurs like Mark, Q, Mark, Mark Q. Cuban, Richard Branson, or Musk. These are all high-profile people who get lots of media attention and have attained a certain celebrity status. It's important that you understand that you should not become an entrepreneur just because you want to get famous. You become an entrepreneur because of one reason that I've taught you now for two and a half years, and that is that you want financial freedom. Could somebody just type that on the screen this evening? Financial freedom. You want to become financial freedom. Number three, pursuing business creation and management for the sole sake of gaining popularity for yourself is not a good idea. Relentlessly pursuing more personal branding opportunities is going to take you away from the office and away from your business. So you must understand that you have to stay there for a while. Number three, if you think that you're going to have unlimited vacations to start with, you're badly mistaken. You say, well, it sounds like that you're trying to talk me out of becoming an entrepreneur. No, I'm not trying to talk you out of it. I'm trying to talk you into it because now we've established the Entrepreneurship Academy, Business and Finance, which you can see and watch online. And then if you're here in Chattanooga, you can sit in on the class and take the class live here. And the class live here is free. Those of you that will be taking it by video or by some social media channel that we're going to develop, you'll be having to pay a little bit of fee for that. I think it's $39 for the whole semester. And that's only for data usage only. It's, a, it's impossible for you to understand at first that you're going to have to work some long hours. I'm still working 18 hours a day. I asked the other day if I could have my average, and my average was 18.5 hours a day that I'm working. You have to work some long hours when you start. Guess what? You have to work some long hours after you get started. Guess what? You have to work some long hours after you get rich if you want to stay rich. The biggest problem today is people don't want to pay the price to get rich. They're still in that government mentality giveaway program. They're still in that mom and daddy giveaway program. I met a man the other day. He's 46 living in his mother's basement. 46. I said, what does he do? He says he watches TV all day. That's not the good life the way I define it. But success will depend on the effort that you put into it. I wish somebody would put that on the screen right now. Your success will depend upon the effort that you put into it. You please understand this evening on this special 15-minute broadcast only, and it's just about up. It's going very quickly. Please understand this evening that you have to make an effort to accomplish the things that you want to accomplish. If you don't, your business will likely fail. Now, what we're good at is making millionaires. That's what we're good at. We like to make millionaires, but we make millionaires by teaching them business, finance, and entrepreneurship first. We don't teach them the millionaire strategies first. It's just like the football player, the running back for this famous football team who may go to the Super Bowl this year. Nobody knows that for sure, but he may break the records this year. He makes $28 million a year, and he's $50 million in debt. And a good portion of that is where he owes the IRS. Yes, we are simulcasting. You're right. If you're busy taking vacations and traveling six months a year, I can assure you that your business will not be what it needs to be. Number four, to make other people happy. Some entrepreneurs start business because they like the idea of a positive force in the world. And I respect that. 
They want to build a great team, take care of their employees, make clients happy, and make this world a better place. There's certainly nothing wrong with that. We have built a great team, 400 employees, three offices, Miami, Fort Lauderdale, Upper Marlboro, Maryland, across from Six Flags, and Chattanooga, Tennessee is our headquarters here. On top of that, we built a huge theater here, $35 million, where the people can come and study and learn. That's what we're all about, is making millionaires. How do you make millionaires? One at a time. You say, well, do, do, you, do, you, get, do you get upset because you're not making more millionaires? We're only at 1,024. I said, well, I'm not upset. But one thing I know is the people that's working on their millionaire status who stay in contact with me, I know for a fact that they're moving toward the end goal, and that's to become a millionaire. Unfortunately, through this mentality may lead to poor business decisions. If you just went into business to make somebody happy, you should be going into business because you want to change your life. You want financial freedom that will not occur at first. Under that, you must make sure that you're willing to make the sacrifices. If you don't, your business will wind up folding. It's important that you understand in this new Entrepreneurship Academy, Business and Finance Academy that we started for you, that you're going to be able to do some things that you've never done before. And I decided it was time. I've been telling you it was coming, and now it's time for us to do what we need to do. So the last question that I asked on this evening broadcast here, the initiation of this, and those of you that's with us, you'll get a special letter from me. I want to just say that why not you? Why shouldn't it be you? You may not have a specific motivation. The specificity of what you're trying to do may not be there. You may think it's just a facade, but I can tell you now, as long as you have the passion to do what you're supposed to do, as long as you have the desire to do what you want to do, as long as you're trying to build a team so that you can make an impact in this world, as long as you're trying to build an organization that's going to put people to work and secure the future for them and their family, I can tell you now that it should be you. So when people say, why me? I say, why not you? Why not you? Why can't it be you? I want to submit to you this evening that it's important that you understand that the top reasons that people don't go into business is something that will hold them back. And the question that you're going to have in your mind for the rest of your life if I had done it, if I had done it. Remember, don't take the position shoulda, coulda, woulda. It's important that you stay focused and you drive that thing in, drive that dream in, drive that passion in one stake at a time. Drive it in. Keep driving it in until you get what you want. I believe your motivation is to change the world. I believe that your motivation is so that you can be financially free. After all, this famous football player who's a running back, he told me, he said, I make $28 million a year. And by the way, he sent all his papers up email by his accounting firm, but they never gave him any advice. And that's what happens to a lot of football players, basketball players, and even actors. You know, I used to represent Daryl Strawberry, used to play for the New York Mets. And, uh, you know, he had some difficulties. They sent him down to the lower uh, lower league. And uh, and and so, so, so you have to be understanding that there's not many people that will ever be able to teach you finance like we teach you finance. Please, whatever you do, understand that you need financial freedom. Please understand that you need financial freedom. Can I get anybody to type that on the screen? You have to have financial freedom. You say, well, you had it, type it one, type it again. And so all I would say to you is, yes, you can. Yes, you can. This Entrepreneurship Academy, this Entrepreneurship Academy, that we've established for you, the business and finance is going to teach you some things that you have never known or learned before. The question that's before you this evening, do you really want to change and are you willing to sit in a class for 45 minutes so that you can change and learn what to do, how you shouldn't do it, and the things that will make your life better? Always remember... Poor people, very poor people, just want one thing, right? They want to live day by day. The middle class want comfort, but the financially rich and the millionaires, what do we want? We want one thing, financial freedom. Money provides you with financial freedom. Now, this is not going to be a spiritual class. This is going to be the Entrepreneurship Academy. And I want to tell you, it's going to be a course that's going to drive it in you. It's going to be a course that's going to take you to a new level. 
If you will stay focused, you will be able to make this course and pass. Then what we're going to do is those that take this course, I'm going to take them under my personal wing, so to speak. And I'm going to take them to the millionaire status. So instead of letting you out there doing it on your own, on your own time frame, no, we're through with that. You're right. The person that asked me, aren't you getting a little frustrated sometimes when your millionaires don't move faster? Yes. And the reason we're changing this is because we want you to get started and we want you to make sure that you can do what you need to do. Now, we are Christians, but we're not going to be talking about Christian stuff in there. This is business principles, finance principles, and entrepreneurship principles. Sometimes you can be so spiritual minded, you're no earthly good. Remember, you don't have to put a sign on your head that you're a Christian. All you have to do is live right. So I'm excited about what is taking place. I want to thank Michael Jacobs, Lorraine. I want to thank, um, I want to thank Steve Watson. I want to thank Tiffany. I want to thank Wilma J, Debbie Booth, Nana Pena Gregory, Madeline Turner, Patricia Moore. These are all the ones that's on here. So you need to make sure that you call tomorrow and get your name in. Those of you that's attending the class here in Chattanooga, it's free of charge. Those of you that's going to be attending the class by our social media TV network, you'll need to register for that, and I can only take so many in the class. So get your name in to Patricia Hilton Tamar or Rene Gore, Entrepreneurship Academy. Say, I want to enroll in the Entrepreneurship Academy. We don't need any money now. We don't know the exact price. It's either going to be 29 for the whole semester or 39. We're not sure. So as soon as we get that, we'll call you back. If you still want to pay that, if it's worth it to you become a millionaire, then you can do it. We're excited about your future. All of you are masters. You're all masters. You have the potential. You've got greatness inside of you to accomplish anything that you want to accomplish, to do anything that you want to do, and to have anything that you want to have. Don't take the position that it won't be you. I told you a minute ago, the question would be, is why me? No. Or why you? No. The question would be, is why not you? Why not you? And I believe that you are going to be able to accomplish some big things. And I think you're going to find out that becoming an entrepreneur is going to be your way out of that nine to five job, whether your boss is always harassing you, always trying to hurt you, trying to do something to you. I want to show you how that you can become rich, you can become famous, you can become an entrepreneur, but that's not the reason you do it. You do it simply because you want to have financial freedom. Would you please type the word help on the screen? Help, H-E-L-P, -E help. Type help on the screen. I believe if you will get enrolled in these classes, I can give you the help that you need. You've been asking for it. You've been asking for help. And I've heard your cry. I've heard your request. And now I plan to do something about it. So I just want to thank all of you that's attended tonight. Catherine Pollard, Patty Moore, Debbie Booth, Rose Fisher, um, Brown, Sunshine Brown, I like your comment. Thank you, Mrs. Brown. Uh, Trudy Lewis, Nana Paul, Patty Gregory, uh, Patty Moore Help, David Nevada, and then we have Pam Gaddis, Deborah Neal. Many of you are on here tonight, and you know what? The ones that's on here are the ones that I wanted on here anyway, and I want to thank you for being a part of this quick, brief broadcast to introduce to you privately. That's why that we really didn't advertise it at all on Periscope. We did advertise it some on Facebook, we want to notify all of you. By the way, you need to keep your notifications turned on. Sometimes if these things get Sherry Hornsby Perry, God bless you. Thank you very much. Um, we, there's some of these things that get turned off. Keep your notification on. Now, you'll be on a different network when you're in class. You're going to be right in class with me, and you'll be able to set your device up where that you can take notes. Okay? So we're very excited about this. The administration, we're going to teach you, CEO. We're going to teach you how to do an audience boom. Many of you don't even know what an audience boom is. I'm going to teach you audience boom. I'm going to teach you things that you've never heard in your life. I'm going to show you how that you don't remain, you don't need to remain toxic in every successful thing that you try to do. And some of you are just tired of it. Omar, there you are. There you are. I'm back. 
good. So I want to just let you know that this is an opportunity for you to get involved with your life. Nobody else is going to do it. And if you don't start now, you need to listen to this. If you don't start now, you're going to keep on till you get 50. And then some of you will be 60. And some of you will be 70. And some of you will be 80. And you'll say, where did the years go? Where did my life go? What happened? Deborah Russell, Tina Brown. Why didn't, why didn't I do that? At least you can say Bishop Bush and Laura Bush. You can at least say, you can at least say, Nicole, you can at least say that you went through the course at the end. If business entrepreneurship is not for you, you can at least make a quality decision then. But I'm going to teach the fundamental characteristics. By the way, Roma Hamby, I'm going to teach the fundamental characteristics. It's not going to be a preaching class. It's not going to be a spiritual class. Leave your Bible at home. You can read it later. This is going to be a class about making money. There's Gary. There's Gary right there. Look, there's Gary. So, so we want you to understand that this is going to be the fundamental characteristics and business principles of Entrepreneurship Academy 101, Business 101, and Finance 101. These are courses. I think it's going to be great. Does anybody have any questions that you'd like to post either on Facebook or Periscope? Anybody have any, any questions? Because we're getting ready to start the Entrepreneurship Academy 101, Business 101, and Finance 101. You need them all. And here's something else. Even if you don't want to start a business, you need it for your personal finances. I mean, here's a man here that's not even in business. He makes $28 million a year, and he's in debt $50 million. That just doesn't seem possible to understand that $14 million of that goes to the IRS right up front. But the problem was... He wasn't paying his taxes, and he's gotten behind on his taxes. There's Beverly Crenshaw. Good to see you this evening. Mrs. Perry, good to see you. Rhonda Franklin, good to see you. Rosetta, Rosetta, good to see you this evening. All of you, Joanne, there's Joanne right there. There's Kim Hicks, and Kim is great on this stuff. She is great. I love Kim, Kimberly. And uh, so first time, New Orleans, Master Learner, Master Learner 57. Master Learner, first time, good to have you with us here. I'm Michael Chitwood, by the way. We're glad that you're with us this evening. Penny O'Connell, glad that you're with us this evening. Rose Fisher just left a day or two ago here from me, and she's now back up in Washington, D.C. somewhere. And I believe that Mary Albert was just here also, by the way. So um, we're very excited about the entrepreneurship. Are y'all excited about the Entrepreneurship Academy 101, Business 101, and Finance 101? If you are, just type yes. Be truthful about it. If you're not, then, then, then you know, maybe we'll do something else. But if you're excited about it, then type yes, if you would, please. Excited? Yes, yes, yes. Periscope is really on fire about it. Facebook is not moving very much. They're slow on Facebook. Yes, everybody so far. There's Teresa Lynn White, Mary Albert, Lauder, Edwin. Edwin's excited about it. Tiffany, Jenny Lee. Uh, Jenny Lee was just here. She's left. Pooh Star, uh, David Alcarez. I love David. He's a great guy. Rhonda, uh, Judy St. Pierre. She's excited. Rosetta's excited. Uh, Pam Gannis, yes, yes, yes. So looks like the Periscope people are really on fire. Yes, this is better than a college education. You're right. It's better than a college education. Guess what? You won't wind up with a bunch of student debt. So there's Terry. It takes money to make money. Good point, Terry. Good point. We're going to teach that cash flow. Andrea Joy Frankel. 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 Good to have you, David Nevada. Uh, Debbie Booth, our executive broadcast director. She does a great job. I want to thank Debbie for all her work that she does. Audience. Audience boom is going to be very important. You're going to learn. You're going to learn some things that you've never had taught you before. So get ready for this. Call tomorrow. Let me give you the number real quick. 800-344-0076. 800-344-0076. Thank you, Edwin. I missed you this year at the conference, but I understand you had some challenges. You couldn't make it, so God bless you. 800-344-0076. 0076. You need to call and ask to speak to Patricia Hilton or Rene Gore and tell them that you're signing up for the Entrepreneurship, Entrepreneurship Academy Class 101. And then we'll get your material to you and we'll be ready to start. It's probably going to start about, about the 1st of September. We're waiting on just two certifications to come in and we will be ready to go. So get ready for this thing. I think it's going to be an incredible time that we can really do something great. You can be your own CEO. And when you've been in business long enough, there's Wesley Clute, my friend down in um, Gulfport. 
when you've been in business long enough, then you'll get all the benefits of business where you can take more time off. You'll have more money. I know how to make money. I know how to make you rich. I can make you rich. And he said he would make us rich and he wouldn't object to it. And you can guess who said that. Anyway, we're very glad that you're here this evening. Uh, we are the only ones that certified to teach entrepreneurship in the nation, by the way. So we're excited about that. Um, and we believe that this is going to be a great, great course for you to take. Okay. Be nine weeks. It'll run nine weeks. I think it runs. I think it's going to be running. I'll get that to you. I'll get all that to you. What your job is to do is to call and get signed up tomorrow. Okay. Because we're not going to be able to take a lot of people because the data, data lines get clogged up and you wind up it's, it getting froze. So I want you to get signed up tomorrow. Okay. 800-344-0076, 800-344-0076, and my time is up, it's 8.30, so I just, uh, I want you to to join us and be a part of that, just continue to pray for Roma, uh, she's uh, uh, down, so let's pray for her, but um, we've got a lot of things that's going on, so Jonathan, God bless you, sir, appreciate you being with us this evening, if you want to know more about entrepreneurship, business, and finance, which will lead and move right into the avenue of millionaire status. It will move you right into the millionaire status. Does everybody understand that? So far, I can say that there's not many people on Facebook that's interested in it, but the ones on Periscope, you are. So we're probably going to direct most of our attention to the ones on Periscope because you have showed a real interest in putting that up that, yes, you are interested in. Let's just continue to let those people on Facebook be where they are, which is many of them are what? Type it on the screen. You know the word. You know the word. Many of the people on Facebook are what? B-R-O-K-E. And why they wouldn't take advantage of something like this, I will never, never know in a million years. All right. I think that winds us up. I hope that each and every one of you have a good evening. Uh, I've got a lot of work to do myself this evening, and I know that you do too. I just want to thank you for being with us on this first initial Entrepreneurship Academy 101. Entrepreneurship Academy 101. Man, I'm excited about it. All right, I look forward to seeing you. Give us a call tomorrow if you want to sign up for it. 800-344-0076. 800-344. Thank you, Laura Bush. 800-344-0076. She said she loves my shirt, so thank you very, very much. And when I first started, um, uh, when I first started, um, uh, it was it was really great because um, I've always worn suits and a tie. So a couple of times I've worn, this is compliments of my wardrobe designer, Mr. Tim Dees and Fanima Dees. So you can thank them the next time. Uh, broke as Christmas turkeys, okay. <laughs> um, all right, we'll, 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 we'll take that into consideration. So we're looking forward to it. Give us a call tomorrow. At least get your name on the list. That's what I would do if it was me. Don't forget, make yourself a note. 800-344-0076. Ask for Patricia Hilton or Rainy Gore. I hope that y'all have a wonderful evening this evening. Remember, when you want something you've never had, you have to do something you've never done. And I believe it's going to change your life forever. That's what I believe. I'll see you later.